Hello and welcome back to FMBP Dota's cast of SIVO Playoffs Round 1. We got Faded going up against Team Pandemic in a best of three. This is Game 2. I'm Joey and with me tonight is Callie. Hello. How are you, Joey? I'm doing very well because we just cast two great games <laughs> prior to this and then the last game was yeah. nuts. Lots of crazy action and now we're bringing you another game. And the bands yeah, are underway. Yeah, this one's going to be a beauty as well. And Pandemic not wasting any time. Banning out that Darkseer again. I think same exact bands that we saw last game. Just don't want to go against that uh, that Darkseer. And I guess keep it light. Same kind of uh, reasoning behind that. Just uh, a lot of AoE, team fight, uh, turtling abilities. And they had a pretty nice uh, mid-game pushing lineup last game. So maybe trying to do the same thing this one. Yeah, their lineup was uh, not something you see every day. Uh, it worked out unorthodox. nicely. Unorthodox. Yeah. It did. And uh, so Nyx and the Magnus being taken out this time by Faded. They're going to leave Batride in the pool, so we'll see if uh, Pandemic try to capitalize on that one. They had the Co-op last game, played by 476. So Batrider, also a very good uh, mid-hero. And we'll see if that's kind of going to be their idea. Um, also good at jungling, of course, on the Radiant side, can uh, can do that, and can offlane quite well. <clears throat> that hasn't even been picked yet, I don't know why I'm like, going over. <laughs> like he's, uh, Bat Rider is like so amazing, he rides bats, and it's just like, it's out of control. It spits fire. <laughs> I think it is pretty safe to say, though, that we're going to see a Bat Rider pick. I think I was first pick the PL, or a Gyro, or something, I don't know. But yeah, Batrider is left in, and they are taking their time thinking about it. Did we already cover the next mag ban yeah. here by uh, Faded? Saibi played a good yeah. mag last game, but they're just going to ban him out this time. Yep, don't want to have to deal with that one. I think it's definitely a conscious decision to leave the Batrider in the pool this game. They did ban out Nyx and Bat last game, so... Uh, no, no real reason to ban out the mag, since he was not taken... Uh, Right off the bat, I think it was Wisp last time. No, no, that was for Faded, right? They, picked they first Wisp, picked so the Wisp, so maybe they're gonna yeah. see if. Uh, I think that's probably what's taking Pandemic so long to pick this Bat Rider is that they don't want to. They they. Well, now they the can pick Wisp CK. CK. Still in the pool. Right. Yeah. Definitely the 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 tiny was their sub. Oh, they're not gonna do it though. So maybe Pandemic's fear is just not really a reality here. They're gonna take the Shadow Demon, the Queen of Pain. Pretty good picks. You got that really strong support in Shadow Demon, and I mean, pretty obvious picks though. Queen of Pain gonna go middle. Maybe you'll see her one on one, but not really that likely. She's just such a strong mid. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, the Queen of Pain is one of the only heroes that can go against a Bat Rider. It's it's still not really perfect if the Bat Rider plays it well and doesn't just dive the Queen of Pain, who has like 15 wand charges then can pretty much win that lane I feel but Queen of Pain does a great job he can uh, or Queen of Pain can use that Scream of Pain to uh, to push the lane get the runes and not really in danger of uh, dying with that blink if you're just careful absolutely and let's see what we see for the pickups of Team Pandemic uh, they don't really have to reveal that much right here but maybe there's a carry in the pool left that they want to get maybe they want to scoop that PL who knows but they do just pick up that Rubik, uh, I guess like we were talking about earlier, to dissuade other picks like uh, Brewmaster, Magnus not in here, uh, but you know, some stuff like that. So just going to rock the Rubik yeah. Lena combination Lena. here. Yeah, it, it, it's great for two reasons. It denies the uh, Shadow Demon Lena combination that could come up from Faded, and it also gives you that awesome combination with Telekinesis if you can uh, plan that properly. They weren't able to get the Lena last game. Uh, it was banned off by Shaded, so just taking it this game early on, and that's still fine. It's it's a little early for a Lena pick. Usually you see that fourth or fifth if it's not banned, but it is taken early this game, and Faded end up taking the Life Stealer third. So they do have that Life Stealer Shadow Demon that we see a lot. Normally paired with the Lena, so I think denying the Lena here with this pick is actually really good. Yeah, but there's still the Lash, so we'll see if Pandemic. Ban off the Lesh is kind of the same thing as the uh, Lina in some sense, just a little bit less burst, I feel, especially once you get level 6. But if you want to hear our in depth analysis of that, go to check out Game 1. Check out Game 1, on yeah. Our uh, YouTube channel. Because we talked a little bit about that, that's why I don't 
I want to go into too much detail for fear of repetition. <laughs> so it looks like, I guess, supports an offlaner is going to be banned out by Team Pandemic. Because it looks like the carry and the mid are pretty much stable. And yeah, they ban out the Lone Druid as an offlaner uh, carry because they, the Lifesteer Shadow Demon is seen in the aggressive tri lane pretty often. Yeah, and the Lone Druid in a safe lane 1v1 is... That's a pretty easy lane, I gotta say. Especially when you get level 3, level 5. Your bear just gets so much stronger. And not many heroes can go uh, 1v1 against the Lone Druid once that level 5 comes. On the last track is banned out, so... What do we think we see here? Like, what other heroes can yeah. really pair a great deal with uh, that Shadow Demon Disrupt? <clears throat> Coddle, but um, he's banned. Well, yeah, there's the Coddle. But, yeah, like you said, banned. They're actually going to take out the Gyrocopter. I was going to say that's, I guess, one of them. You could go uh, support Gyro with the Shadow Demon. <clears throat> the Rocket Barrage, Soul Catcher is really... I mean, it's nothing to sneeze at, let's just be honest here. Uh, <laughs> so I don't, yeah, I don't know. Not too many supports. You don't, you don't need something that like is a great. Uh, yeah, that's true. Know, I guess it, the disrupt is great in itself <laughs> to buy time uh, with someone yeah. getting initiated on to buy that time or anything like that. Yeah, it's just great for so many reasons, defensively, offensively, and yeah, tons of versatility on that hero right now. But uh, yeah, not too many supports like you said left in the pool that are that are really good to go with it. I don't know, I like uh, maybe Visage know, coming we'll out see. here. He's pretty good defensively and offensively in a tri lane. And that shadow, that Disrupt just buys more time for more damage to be done. Get your soul assumption up. Yeah, the Disrupt. Yeah, because the open wounds is pretty much a beastly, uh, a beastly, uh, dis disable on its own. Oh, we could see an Ancient Apparition. We might see an Ancient Apparition. <laughs> yeah. I was just going to say. Yeah, it just clicked. <laughs> so strong. I bet that I bet that's coming forth. I don't see why not. Chilling touch and Maybe cold feet, man. If, uh, they feel. Yeah. Oh, that's just that's gonna be a dirty lane if they can run that offensively. The only problem is A is not the most mobile uh, support. Doesn't have a stun all on himself. So if he gets picked off in the jungle by the supports on Pandemic, then he's just as good as dead if they run an offensive try lane. So. He's gonna have to be careful for that, but as long as he's by the Shadow Demon, he should be okay. And the Life Steer is always not that. He's, you know, he's never too far away, so you can get there. Looks like we got a Shadow Fiend pick. Um, probably gonna go mid. Wait, no. What am I saying? Ah, Jakira. Okay. Could be one on one. I want to see an A. Oh yeah, Jakira makes a lot of sense, but A yeah. would have been way cooler. No pun intended. Yeah, I've seen a Shadow Fiend in a tri lane as well a few times. Um, just because you can, if you go a safe lane tri lane with Shadow Fiend, you're gonna get those souls probably no matter what. And then with those raises, it's it's like it's pretty good. Yeah, those raises and coupled onto the for, the uh, perma stun from Rubik Lina that actually will do a lot of damage. And if you position right, you can hit Q and W ah, each within like go. a second. But Anti Mage gonna go in that role. It's like Bat Rider gonna suicide lane yeah, perhaps. Probably, yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised we're not seeing a, a Weaver pick or something. I feel like that would have been great for Pandemic in this lane against the, the Life Stealer. It's pretty hard to kill a uh, Weaver with that. Sukuchi, able to get away from him pretty much anything. But same with the Anti-Mage, I guess, in the same sense. Just doesn't have as much uh, killing potential until a bit later. And it's just going to be more far farm-oriented. Yeah, so but I think the, pick, the anti mage pick is going to uh, signal that Faded kind of has to do that aggressive tri lane. Because if anti mage, you know, is safe lane farming, gets that battle fury fast, it's going to be tough. Yeah. Yeah, this should be a pretty nice offensive tri lane here for Faded. I don't see why it wouldn't work. I mean, the Jakira with that huge AoE stun, uh, if you drop it in the right place, and combo with the Shadow Demon Disruption, it's pretty easy to land. Um, Life Stealer. We've all seen it. One of the best offensive tri lane heroes with that rage and the open wounds. Just does so much damage. Can burst down a Lina, a Rubik, no problem. But I'm really worried about this uh, middle lane here for Pandemic. Uh, the Shadow Fiend versus Quap. If, that's, if that is what's going to happen, then there's no secrets. I feel like the Queen of Pain uh, wins that lane pretty easily. But Shadow Fiend does always have that opportunity to win a lane. If you play it expertly then you can win every lane I feel even against a bow rider it's just super super hard yeah those raises burst a ton of damage yeah 
So it looks like this is going to be their offline, offline pick. Cast. They're thinking they're about thinking. it. Well, they need to pick someone who can solo against a bat rider, right? If they're going to use the offensive tri lane technique. Which I feel so. like is almost nobody. That's hard. I was going to say yeah. Clockwork is pretty good with the battery assault, but... Yeah, if uh, if they are running the offensive tri lane, I'm not sure if you can hear me because I know it lags, but... The Clockwork bat rider, it's, it's a hard lane for Clockwork, so... Maybe a uh, Pandemic... Uh, if they can do okay in the defensive try lane, then I think they're going to be okay in the laning phase, uh, given that Shadow Fiend can not die to the Queen of Pain a bunch of times. Yeah, it's going to come down a lot to the uh, aggressive try lane and how well that goes. Alright, so we got... Oh, we got a Dire Tides skin. Really oh, do it. skin. Yeah. Rocking it. Wow, this looks sick. <laughs> oh, it's... <laughs> yeah, okay, anyway. We got Corey on the Nakes going into that offensive tri lane. Got a lot of regen here. They're going to be followed shortly. Uh, well, maybe he's going alone. I don't know. King Crack, Probably not. King Kraken on the Shadow Demon. <laughs> Saibi going mid on that Quap. We got Dimitri head and bot on the Jakira. He's got wards and a bit of regen. And, of course, Theory on the Clockwork going into that off lane with a Quelling Blade. Yeah, and uh, on the Radiant side, we've got Thatch on that Anti-Mage, playing the Carol. He's got a Stout Shield and a Quelling Blade, as well as one Salve, so he's going to have lots of uh, easy last hits and some uh, defense against Harass as well. On the Bat Rider, we've got Shibby up top in the uh, in that trial. I mean, sorry, in the off lane, and Lena on the bottom lane, Balletician, who played CK last game. So this is a switch up or. I don't know, yeah, I guess it was just kind of utility support Or just the role normal the role there. because the CK was picked <laughs> to not allow the CK Wisp combo. Yeah, just so weird to see a support CK, I guess, but he did get an armlet drums, so he was pretty far anyway. Carry. Yeah, uh, 476, playing that Shadow Fiend mid, he's picked up quite a lot of stats uh, with that circlet. But still a relatively fast bottle build, and Panda's on the Rubik, who's got sentries, observer wards, pretty standard nowadays for supports in the safe lane, going against an offensive tri lane. Yeah, also played Rubik last game, had some good steals, some nice toss uh, being stolen from Tiny for some initiation for Tide. Um, what else? I don't know if he ever stole like a huge RP, but regardless. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I'm going to be watching this mid lane. I just can't help myself. Yeah, it's hard to resist. Or maybe but you we know the kills are going to come bottom lane. <laughs> we'll have to yeah, keep at least they're not going to be mid yet. Not at level 1. Got this top lane real quick. It's going to be tough for Theory to keep dropping those stacks. He's going to have to back off. But he should be able to farm pretty decently with the rocket. And uh, maybe a couple lasted. Just from getting lasted. He did buy a Quelling Blade, so... Well, it's a very hard lane for the clock, like I said. Look at this, those auto attacks with just one stack do so much damage. He's The bat's going to be getting free farm this lane. Um, but Faded doing a really nice job of uh, not letting them de-ward their, uh, their, the pull camp block that they've done. They do have a sentry down, but the tree has not been taken out yet. Uh, we'll see if it does. Panda has, does have some tangos, so he just has to pick the right tree and then he'll be able to get that de-ward off if he's not in danger of dying, of course. Yeah, and sometimes you don't want to waste your tango that early. But uh, 476 taking a lot of harass in the mid lane, but he's doing a good job lasting. He's got 5, 6 now. Uh, souls at least, so one of those is a deny. Yep. 5 and five and 2 on the Shadow Fiend, going against 6 and 6 Queen of Pain. So already Sean. He did have an Illusion Room, which helps a lot in the early last hitting, especially against the Shadow Fiend with like, that abysmal. Uh, it's so low, last but he'd damage. be so broken if it wasn't. Yeah. Well, yeah, for sure. Disruption by King Kraken, but I don't think here. there's going to be any follow-up on that. Just the Ice Path going to land on Fatch. Taking him to about half health. But a pickup onto King Kraken, they know he doesn't have it. But the, the uh, coordination wasn't quite there. They actually missed the, the combo of Pandas and a Balletician there. So the first blood is drawn by Cory, Killing the Balletician on the Lina. So that's a, that's a good thing there for that aggressive tri lane. And farming more is Cory on the Nakes with uh, 10 last hits compared to Antimage of 7. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. With that, although the Rubik and Alina do combo, usually when you play Rubik, you're going to pick them up and try to bring them back just so you can get a little bit more uh, last hits on. But if Balletician doesn't anticipate that, then he's going to miss the stun. 
So he has to be really careful. He's gonna do it here. He's gonna wait. And now it there's lands, the but there's the disruption. So no damage to follow up. Corey's getting pretty low. He has got no mana. Maybe gonna go down. He lives Ooh. with 50 HP. Dimitri pretty low as well. They're gonna have to maybe retreat out this lane or at least bust out. But no mana right now. He's there's some clarities on the shadow demon. Yeah, a big wave coming too, so this is gonna be a lot of farm for Corey. If he plays his cards right. <laughs> Yeah, this wave is massive, but they do a pool, I don't even understand. I'm not sure. Maybe just with all those nukes going out, the AoE, Lightning, and the... Yeah. All of her spells are AoE, so Doing maybe a good just job. kind of push the wave down. Thinking out all those but one under the tower there. Yeah, and this this ward's still not taken out yet, so... This is really unfortunate. The sentry ward was actually... I, maybe the sentry ward just ran out, but... Yeah, another thing to note is that Shadow Demon going against an Anti-Mage is... It's just unreal. Like, you just make those illusions and you, you get at least two hits off, two burns. So, we'll see if Fatch kind of uh, takes this into account and doesn't max mana break, which you might occasionally see in a tri lane versus tri -lane situation just for the extra damage, but maybe I'll have to adjust. Yeah, I guess the blink wouldn't hurt, or the even the spell shield. Yeah, spell sh Yeah, he's already picked up one level, so... It's just at least one level. Let's get that twenty six percent, and then uh, yeah, I guess know, it scales a little bit, but yeah, the twenty six percent is pretty ridiculous. And King Kraken's over in the mid lane right now. I don't. I feel like Quap doesn't really need help here, but maybe they're just trying to get a kill on four seven six because they know they're not really shutting him down. He's got sixteen last hits, same as uh, CYBY right now. CYBY hitting like a truck already, but looks like we got some action in the bot lane. Thatches is hitting Corey. Corey doesn't have enough to rage, so this is their time to fight here. If that Light Shrek Array can maybe land, but now they're too close to the tower and it's gonna miss. And there's the Ice Path, comes maybe a counter initiation in, but there's no open wounds right now. And they're kind of stronger, but here comes King Kraken. Ice Path is gonna be on cooldown, so it's not gonna be able to uh, layer on top of that disrupt. Man, yeah, so now Fatch out of mana. Fatch just lost all his mana. It's one annoying Can't spell. Blink. He... Maybe this is He's the time to go. Ability against him. But no open wounds on Cory either, because yeah. he also has no mana. Top lane, looks like we've got a bit of a go. Uh, maybe Shibby gonna... Oh, nice cogs to escape through oh, the tree! Nice what a beautiful pathway to get out of there, and he pops the south so that he can live. He's gonna have to run back through the fire, he shoots a rocket. Can he get out of here? I think he's still gonna go down, despite... No, he's gonna live. No. That was some professional dudes. Yeah, nice play there. Yeah, those cogs are just so... so great now, that they burn uh, mana and health. Still gonna be maxing that rocket, but the one level is really great already. Yeah, I guess he's maxing rocket. I feel like battery assault would be really good here in this lane, because at least if he runs on you in fire, that battery assault does a lot of damage one on one. Yeah, but I think the bat catches up either way. He's not. It's not really gonna slow him down. Yeah, so. does a little bit of damage, but you're not getting away. So. Well, Maybe I was thinking you can make your, nice your last. You can make a stand. Oh yeah, if he picks up the wand, which he has right now, or the stick. Sorry. Low he comes from behind though. Oh no, he's yeah, not. So he's not farming right now. <laughs> he could get Eight. disrupted though. Ten less sets behind. There's the ice path to follow up. Yes, it's there, and there's no mana. Oh, no mana on Corey. Excuse me. Looks like Fatch has already blinked out. And no mana for that anymore either. Everyone's taking a lot of damage though. The try lane here for Faded really low, but here comes Sybe. Think it in. Shadow Strike on the ball. Attition. Looks like he's gonna go down. Caught in the ice path. Corey picks up that last hit. And the chase continues. He's still got lots of mana. Yeah, it looks like Pandas is going to go down here as well. Looks Corey small. might drop, though. And now Fatch has enough to blink. Now he does not, because he did blink. So Saibi's going back in for him. He finds him. He's going to get him. And he's got no mana to blink out now either, but I think that's still worth it. He dodges that stun, so well played there by Saibi. He uses the bottle charge. He's got enough to blink. He's going to get out, so now it's definitely worth it. So really good play there by Saibi. Let's go in the bot lane and get it done. Corey dropped, but he did pick up a kill. And now it's 4-1 to one, uh, in favor of Faded. Yeah, the good news is for uh, Pandemic, 476, taking advantage of the co-op leaving the lane. Decided to get a little bit of push going on here. He's got his damage fully up right now. Or he still needs a few more souls with that uh, extra level in Necromancy. But he's got the phase boots now. He's got the bracers. So he's probably going to be going for that drum build. And I think this tower is actually going to go down. Yeah, and he's probably going to last today. Glyph already used. Dyer's middle tower. No, he's not. But <laughs> too confident. <laughs> yeah, sorry. You jinxed him, probably. I did. I jinxed him.
Curse. Caster's curse. <laughs> yeah. Let's check out Theory's anyway, last Corey hits. has his phase boots. Or go ahead. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, yeah. No, no. No, me? Okay. Theory. Um, He's got, what, 21 last hits? To Batrider's 51, most on the map. Batrider already purchased that Blink Dagger, so he's going to be a bit of a threat. And now you can go. What's your thought? Uh, I was... I was just gonna say in the try lane. Actually, I wasn't listening to you, so maybe did you go over <laughs> Faded's uh, item build here? No. Um, in the bottom. Okay. Well, uh, Corey does have phase boots. He has an orb of venom, which is really interesting, and I like it. It's not that much gold, and you get a nice little slow. Uh, on the other end, oh, Batman picked up the kill on the top. Be, yeah, combining it with uh, four seven six. So I'm sure just got a few last hits. It's actually gonna cut down all the trees so that they can just freely push this tower. And not much resistance is coming in for Faded. They know they have to defend it. Pings are coming out. Here comes Saibi, but what can he do by himself, really? The lasso is still up. So if he blinks in and gets lassoed, it's going to be in big trouble. Yeah, here comes 476. Running through the trees. He's going to have a go. Here's the lasso. Flame break up now, too. I'm sorry, Firefly, but he doesn't have enough for either. For both. Wow, how did that miss? That was so close. Ah, I thought that was right on. It was max range, I think. Here, Just kind of moved out. Sonic wave is used. And the blink ends, so Sivy's gonna get that kill. 476 in a bit of wow. trouble as well. Oh, it looks like he had an invis room bottled, so he's gonna be good. But this leaves... Oh, sorry, it looks like Lena went down in the bot lane. So this leaves Fatch alone. A bit of a chase in the top lane. No, 476 just he's sticking around. About it. He wants it. <laughs> he really does. I don't think he can. There's a bit but of a dive in the bottom. Like knowing. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and they're still Fox chasing. Trouble. Oh, there's the ice path. Last hit from Life Stealer is enough, and the poison there. Not able to blink out. It looks like Sybe's gonna go yeah, back to that, base. That wand charge basically uh, given the kill to Corey. I think would have been last hit there by Dimitri on the on the Jakira, but because he wand takes two hits and Corey gets the last hit, which is nice there for Faded. Uh, nice pick off there, and they're gonna have to take down some towers, I think. Oh, but here nice comes Shibby, immediately disrupted as soon as he drops the lasso, so unable to grab Cory. Cory mm. doesn't fast, he's back to full health, and now there's no lasso, but no mana on any of the support. Dimitri maybe gonna go down to fire here, but Pandas looks like he's still on Light Strike Array. Cory getting really low, Cory goes down, Fatch is back, Lena gonna drop as well. Politician goes down. Well, Politician is the Lena. And it looks like Dimitri, King Kraken, and, and Cory have all died, as well as feeding over the Courier. And Faded uh, Theory is here now, and Theory goes down, so 476 getting a double kill, and Sabi just gonna have to blink out, so it was going really well initially for Faded, but Pandemic really turned that around, this is with the quick respawn and TPS. Yeah, they did. Yeah, with the Blink Dagger uh, Batrider coming in at the right time, gets a lasso off before he gets disrupted, which was huge because uh, Corey was there for a long time, had to use Infest right away, and uh, it did. They did get a kill from it, but he wasn't able to kill Lena, and then he was stunned and just finished off that way. So, yeah, it was just a good response there from Pandemic. Faded though, doing a good job. They're gonna keep the pressure up here on the bottom lane and try to take down this tier one. And it is at half health, so I think they'll probably get it. Fatch in the mid lane. He's got his perseverance. Perseverance? Yeah, perseverance. Always say that wrong. Yeah gonna be going for that battle fury it's gonna be a really delayed battle fury but the other lane's going all right for pandemic so i think they're gonna be okay with it and if he can just find some farm now peacefully in the middle lane he's gonna be quite happy with that yeah uh so we what he needs a thousand two hundred gold it looks like oh sorry two thousand two hundred gold here's a blink in by shibby though on the side in the bot lane Corey's there he's wailing on on shibby so I think Shibi is gonna go down here, it looks like. Uh Lifestealer gonna get that last hit as well. So Lifestealer sitting in with five kills, five and two, side B four and oh. So going pretty well on them. We yeah. check out the net worth, Corey's in first. Followed by Batrider yeah, and he's then just grabbed Shadow his armlet now. Corey does have his armlet needs to bring it out to him though. Now while they're strongest, that offensive try lane worked really well for them, although the top lane wasn't the best with that clockwork versus bat, he did okay. He didn't die, I think, solo. Maybe once. No, he, he died when the uh, when when four seven six came in, so he had some help. But uh, yeah, so that lane worked out. The offensive try lane worked really well, and now they're just gonna group up with that armlet on on the uh, life stealer. He's just the fade. He's just, sorry, he's just the most uh, 
He's just the strongest person on the map right now. They're gonna go on Balotician here. The hook missed. Now it's gonna be on cooldown, but Balotician gonna go down. He does get the alt off on King Kraken, so King Kraken getting pretty low. Flame break in from Batrider with the disruption there onto Anti Mage. Immediately TP's out. Like, uh, Saibi doing some damage to uh, Shadow Fiend and Anti Mage. And the chase continues. King Kraken gonna go down. So Shibi gets that kill. Looks like Dimitri picked up a double kill with a nice macro pyre laying down. Fire all over the place. Open wounds on Shibi. Looks like Cory maybe gonna get another last hit uh, on a hero. And indeed he does. So now he's sitting at 6 and 2. So I'd be stuck in the trees. <laughs> Didn't know you could even get stuck in that. <laughs> Keep in mind, this is all without the armlet finished on Cory right now. That chicken death, I think that would have just been an absolute insane faster wipe there for faded but chicken dead he's gonna bring out the armor now that it's just respawned hopefully <laughs> i really, really just want to see it he's had it for like two minutes right now in a stash yeah it's coming out now it'd be a real shame if he died right now yeah it would it doesn't have infest up it was used in that <laughs> fight yeah great fight there by faded uh definitely getting the better of that one let's check the goal graph well, it looks like it's gone back down to zero so the radiant were ahead by quite a lot uh, 2,000 experience, 2,000 in the way of uh, Faded, and uh, I think they're going to start pulling ahead if they can just group up with that armor now and take some more towers. XP in favor of the Dire, though. Oh, there they go. Looks like there's a lasso blink across Disruption, so not taking a lot of damage is Cory, and now Cory can go fight. And the hook in from Clockwork from the other side. Cory getting to kill the nice cogs to drain some mana. Also Captain and Pandas. Panda's going to go down as well. Shibby's still alive. Looks like Fatch went down as well. So now we're chasing Shibby. And things going really well for Faded right now. That's just some great counter initiation by the Clockwork. And that's why Clockwork is such a great pick, even if the Cogs don't take health. But they do. Yeah. And, and just a great uh, defensive disruption there. Uh, taking out the, the Lifestealer from having any damage against him. When he comes out, he's ready with a Rage. And he just went to town on the supports there. And they even picked off the anti -mage, so he's going to set back that Battle Fury a lot. Tier 1 tower goes down. This is looking really good for Fader right now. Yeah, it is. It looks like uh, 476 got the bots tier 1. But, uh, 4 kills in a tier 1 mid, 4 faded, so definitely coming out on top of that trade. If you even want to call it a trade. Yeah. And, uh, Corey even gonna head up top right now. Get the push going on the tier 1. And I'm sure the rest of his team will join him. They really don't need to be bottom or mid right now uh, until they take out that tier 1 in the top lane. They're just free gold right now. When they're stronger, they might as well press their advantage. And they're doing good so far, so we'll see if they keep it up. Another 2,400 gold on Corey. I think it should go Basher. Um, yeah, you think Basher? Yeah, for anti just blink. That's a good call, yeah. Turn it into an Abyssal, and yeah, you really shut him down. Even when the Shadow Fiend gets in a, a blacking bar after that, you can just kill him quite easily. And Theory's spotted. Should be season. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, but it looks like Theory's gonna run. And Theory with the buckler, so he'll be building that neck. And there's the blink lasso. Pandas is here as well. And uh, also 476. So Theory gonna go down. Oh, he hooks back to friends! And he busts the cogs, but he gets telekinesis. Drop to the other side. The cogs still up. They push back Lena. Baltician. Faded his. Oh Unreal. my gosh. Theory Unreal. gonna get out of that. And that was just an insane play. That was a really nice wow. hook awareness. Uh, King, or Dimitri rather, in the right place at the right time. Oh, no, that's King Kraken. It would appear Radiant's top. Yeah, beautiful. And all the while, wasting the time there of Pandemic uh, in the bottom lane was that was Theory on the Clockwork, like you said. They're just taking the Tier 1 tower up top. Only Corey and uh, Dimitri needed for that one. So that's really nice. And yeah, he's picked up something. Oh, he's got he a He gets the Maelstrom. <laughs> which, I mean, it's all also I mean, great, it's, but... Yeah, that's good. But yeah, like you said, I th I th I'd have to agree with you. The Bash would be nice. Maybe you can get it later. Yeah, or yeah, the Maelstrom proc is really nice. Panda's gonna go down here. He got a proc there. Actually, Rage is a Slice Raker Rage. Uh, but here comes Shibby. Lasso still on cooldown, but we've got another open wins. So another 15 seconds here. Sidey's here as well. Those names are starting to get confusing together. Dimitri taking some tower hits, but looks like he's gonna get out. And we got the Radiant Chicken gonna go right oh, yeah, over King Kraken's head. I don't know if he's got the damage to deal with it. Actually, no. 476 backing off, so the Courier. I think they just go to him right there. King Kraken stacking up the Ancients. Actually, suiciding to the Ancients. So, did he lag out? Or did he just want to go back to base? I'm not really sure. I think he spent all his gold. And then just wanted to go back or something. It is 25 seconds here now. Yeah, it was like a 27 wow. second respawn, so I'm not too sure. Note, the jungle stacking for Pandemic is doing pretty well. They've Well, they've got one camp stacked up, so... I don't know. 
Yeah. Um, if we do a little item check here, Thatch is getting close to that uh, Battle Fury now. He's going to TP out of there safely. Um, he's got the Claymore, just needs the Broadsword now. Should be with that Blink Dagger. Had it for a long time. Going to be going for that Force Staff next. Um, just going to take a little bit now. Baltician looks like he's going for Urn or something like that. Just trying to tank up a little bit so he can survive against that Life Stealer. Who just solo dived him near everyone. Just no one could do anything. Yeah, but taking up against Life Stealer doesn't really matter because it'll just hit you harder. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But uh, anyway, I guess you, you do what you gotta do. Uh, 476 with that Shadow Blade now. I'm trying to get that split push going, most likely. Um, try to be as annoying as possible. He's looking for a backstab. And nothing really on Panda. Maybe not. He's actually going to blow Thars out. He thought maybe his team could initiate from the front and he'd run in through the back with the Shadow Blade. Get off a of Requiem of souls with 36 souls he's got. Oh, I was role-playing Nyx in uh, the first game I cast solo today, so... I, saw, I that caught one. that. I caught that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed. Don't worry. Oh, he's in the middle. He finds Shibby. Shibby maybe yeah, going to go down here. He doesn't have Firefly, so he can't just get over those cogs. And he's going to go down. That's two kills. Ball Titian is all, also there. Uh, Corey picked him up. Got a double kill. Uh, Corey now 10-2. This game, uh, slowly marching toward... Uh, slowly. Uh, it's pretty... Landsliding towards yeah. uh, Faded's favor. Well, yeah, the thing is though, they really have to start pushing down these tier twos and possibly go for a tier three because right now Thatch, he's got his battle fury. He's getting a lot stronger. It's still not really much of a threat right now, but with that battle fury, the split push is pretty big, and especially combined with the shadow blade, uh, shadow fiend, it's you know you kind of gotta be keeping that in the back of your mind. So. I think Faded got to group up, take down all these tier twos, go wow, for Wow, there's a nice rage on the light striker array. You saw the cast animation, pops the rage, goes in with the open wounds, takes out Balotitian. So now he's down, and they can rotate bot to take the tier two down there. Uh, they don't really have to go high ground yet, but just take away all those towers so that they can roam around in the enemy jungle freely and make sure that uh, Thatch isn't in there. Has that ever been cause for celebration? Yeah, but 476 already forcing the Queen of Pain to come back. He's going to... Blink his way over, and I think, and just rejoin the team. Now that he knows Shadow Fiend is gone. Shibby blinks out, actually. Hulk onto Cory, but at least it brings Theory closer. And there's that open wounds onto Pandas. The battery assault is pop. It's actually hard to blink away from that. Oh, the cogs are there. Firefly and right over. Cory maybe gonna go down. He's got almost no health right now. Wow, he's armlet toggling like a beast here. Armlet toggles again. And he's still alive. <laughs> really well played there, and Saibi just doing some damage. So Cory gonna get out. Those cogs from Theory uh, weren't actually the best idea. Firefly running over him, and it lined him up for some big burst damage coming out from Baltician on the Lina. Yeah, definitely. Um, Faded trying to push their uh, luck here a little bit, which they I feel like they have to do, but maybe overextending a little bit and just, I don't know. Cory got... Uh, he got lassoed and the, dis the disruption wasn't there this time. Uh, King Kraken just a little bit too far behind, maybe getting CC'd out by the uh, four, by 476 on the Shadow Fiend, trying to deal with him as well. So it was a nice fight by Pandemic. Uh, who'd they get? The Clockwork then? I think Theory? Yep. And uh, maybe that's it. I think but Dimitri. Just a good fight, a good defense. Oh, Dimitri died as well? Okay. I thought I saw two. I'm not entirely positive. I was in awe of the armlet toggling. <laughs> Yeah, Corey's actually finished a Mjolnir now, so he's just going to be huge. Indeed, and um, I think Basher's Basher next? next choice, or a heart, really. Or just go for the heart, yeah. It's pretty hard, I was I trying to say Basher. earlier, it's pretty hard to blink away from battery assault if you're one-on-one -on -one with Clockwork, just because the animation was a little longer since the TI2 patch. Or post-TI2 patch. Which animation? The animation for blink is a little bit longer now. Oh, true. And I think the oh, yeah, uh, the battery assault stuns. Um, interval 0.7. No, I guess it's not long enough because I think Antimage's blink is like 0.4. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. It used to be 0.2, and Let's I think they made it 0.4. But that's just memory, so I might be wrong. Yeah, he's gonna be going for those treads next. Tank up, and then you'll probably see a Yasha. You could probably just tear through the jungle and uh, keep his farm up. 476 being really annoying here. Try not to get killed by the co-op. He's gonna Shadow Blade away and just TP out. 
probably why. So pretty much Cybe is just keeping. Yeah, he's just keeping tabs on four seven six right now. Just uh, this mid matchup. Looks like he's going for a Heaven's Halberd as Corey because he's picked up that Talesman of Evasion, and he's maybe gonna get picked off here. He's gonna try to kill Thatch, and he does if that proc hits him. He does anyway. He's gonna like three v one these people up here. So Corey just doing work. The Light Striker where he doesn't catch either. He's full mana right now. He's got here comes Theory. Theory whiffs the hook actually, but he's probably gonna get panned. Armlet toggling is Corey again. But the burst there, the damage is here now with 476 shows up. And now Theory's a little caught out. Perhaps there's Dimitri. Saibi's still in the mid lane. That was a nice macro pyre of Cogs though uh, to block the root, but the 476 is pretty fast. He dusts. He expected Ooh. that. That was a really nice play by Theory to come through. He Requiem of Souls. Will it be able to kill him? No, it doesn't, and neither does the secondary one. <laughs> yep. Nice dust there, nice by Theory. there by Theory. Yep. Um, so yeah, it was, a, it was an alright fight there. Only uh, only Corey going down on the Lifestealer, which his farm is just so huge right now. That's, yeah, Hub and Sovereign, like you said, coming up right now. So 476 dying again. That's going to set back the Shadow Fiend. And as well, Thatch going down on the Anti Mage. He really doesn't need that right now. <laughs> no, he does not. <laughs> I mean, it's not like he's choosing it, of course. He's, but... He doesn't got time for that. Radiance bottom tower. <laughs> he's got to be farming that jungle. And it looks like he's getting back to it now. Or at least going to yeah, the I'd free like lane. To see him... I'd like to see him just try to keep being as annoying as possible on the safe lane while still being careful. If they could get some wards up in the uh, in the second half. They've only got the one by the ancient uh, camp there. If they can get a like maybe one by the by that rune spot and to see movement coming up to the top, he can keep the push going all day and then just blink out into the trees and uh, and teleport bottom. So he can keep that up. That'd be great. Um, same with force. Look on theory, three. really so deep to that Rubik. That ward there, spotting it. Actually, no, I don't. Maybe just a rocket spotted it out. And Shibby's there as well. And the tree's caught in an ice bath. And here comes Saibi coming in. Oh, let's see who else is here. Dimitri chasing down as well. BKB apparently on Saibi. Uh, gonna find Baltician. Baltician probably gonna drop here. Yeah, the open wounds comes out. And that's two for nil. Meanwhile, Thatch on the top lane. The split push. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. Now they gotta send someone back to defend against it. And it's not gonna be as easy to go for that tier two or a Roche. So if Thatch is careful, yeah, there goes the TPs. He's just gonna have to blink out. But he's done his job. Sabi's had to go back up to the tier two and defend it. He's working on an Orchid now. Stop that blink. Radiance structures are There's 476 going on Dimitri here. He's gonna have to watch out for that ice path. Radiance Looks like Requiem of Souls was just used there. Dimitri's gonna live now. Nah, not with the napalm. That auto attack gonna take him out. Here comes Saibi. Pretty much no mana right now. He's running away through the tree. But yeah. Theory's here now as well. And Saibi's just gonna auto attack. That's enough. So back on a mega kill streak now is Saibi. He's five and zero. Oh, Fourteen and three is Corey. He dropped the Kins. He used to go yeah, as Corey Kins, but that's gone. Yeah, I liked Corey Kins. He I liked it better cute. too. What else? Maybe he'll see yeah, this and change Corey it back. That... <laughs> Dude, we need to make a petition. But uh, Corey getting that tower on the bottom lane there, uh, last hit it, and then great response there by Faded to come in. And uh, get redemption for that kill on Dimitri that they did. Spend two heroes to get, um, and ended up getting the Bat Rider in return. So I think definitely worth it for Faded, and they, they played it really well. I was wondering why Clockwork was scouting his own team's Roche, but Pandas here has stolen Rocket Flare, and he's actually scouting it out. So very aware is Team Pandemic that Faded is taking on Roshan, and Roshan is really low. I'm gonna go down uncontested. And oh! Almost snipes the last hit. I hope the magnificent creature did not suffer over my. That's the Aegis. Heaven's Halberd finished as well. So we're gonna look to fight here. Thatch uh, pushing that top tier too, to the limit. Dimitri TP's back to defend as well as some rockets. Yep, Thatch is actually getting his gold up. He's got about 1,700 right now, with that split push, like I was mentioning, and uh, he's doing a good job now. He's gonna be able to f flash farm it real quick. Especially if he picks up a Yash, I might go for something like an ultimate orb burst just for that extra tank ability, which he desperately needs right now. Only a thousand health. Maybe he's gonna make a go here on Dimitri. Got an infest into Saibi. Corey is in Saibi. Yeah. 
Oh, if he waits, no, he's gonna he's gonna be seen here. Unfortunately, maybe they're trying to bait it, but I don't think anyone would would want to go on side B anyway. So yeah, he's pretty strong with the BKB. Yeah, probably won't be strong. He's really yeah. close to Orchid. Looks maybe like Corey he... is just being lazy and wants to infest. <laughs> yeah, I guess that Get free carried. that travel. <laughs> get carried in another sense yeah not the not the carried sense <laughs> yeah the sense that doesn't really Dimitri matter here yeah they basically sent Dimitri up into the top lane and they know that he's all alone right now so should be coming in trying to get the kill on him and uh, I'm sure Fatch will rotate Good well. he's, he's had his eyes on him yeah this is gonna be the end of Dimitri that's for sure he's gonna go down Antimage using the mana void even to make sure he gets the kill because he needs that money. He's sitting on 3k now, so he's got 1.5k gold since the last time we saw him. And both TP out as they rotate up here. Yeah, very much needed kill there. Nice job by uh, Pandemic. Should be rotating up real quick. Yeah, I could just tell because Fatch was like licking his lips up top, wanting to go on the Jakira, but knowing that TP support could come in at any minute. Um, especially with that quad, but with the Batrider, they're able to get it pretty safely, and then they just booked it out of there quick, so they couldn't get picked off, which was uh, definitely what they needed to do. Yeah, but that does bring Faded to the top lane where that last tier 2 remains, so maybe they're just going to push that as a team. Uh, Dimitri will be back yeah, in 5. Like they actually do kind of need Dimitri, but I guess you can be pretty sure that Fatch isn't going to be in this team fight. It looks like he's picking up a TP now. Oh, actually, he just bought something. It would appear. Oh, they got the donkey carrier. Um, oh, nice. Wow, oh, mad respect. Mad respect to Pandemic right now. I think he bought the ultimate ward first. Also. It seems that Ray yeah, he's gonna. He has lots of gold, so he can pretty much get that Yasha as well. The infest and the CYBY again. Yeah. Or CYBY, excuse yep. me. Yep, yep, yep. They're ready. This is. It's just kind of. This is why we don't see Shadowfin a lot. Oh, and the initiation on the Shibi, who normally would be the initiator, he does blink out. Does. Actually, four staffs, but he just goes scepters into a sonic wave, so he goes down immediately. And looks like Fatch is TP'd in. Ball, ball attrition going down instantly. Fatch trying to get away. And now we're diving a little bit here. Uh, Faded is, but now they're gonna sit back and uh, knock on this two-three tower. Maybe gonna it's gonna go down. Actually, the age is still there on Corey. Uh, and gonna be up for a little while longer. I think Panda's gonna drop here. Corey gets him no problem. Looks like he used that Heaven's Halberd, and this is gonna be the Rax, so high ground was broken. And this is why we play BO3s and not BO1s, because it looks like Faded will be taking this game. And we're gonna go to a game three pretty soon. Yeah, I was just, I was gonna mention before that fight started that 476, he's got his BKB, he's got quite a lot of farm, but it's. Yeah, you're gonna pick the politician again here. <laughs> Nothing new. Actually, Story of politician's Fash. life this game. <laughs> I'm not sure why Fash didn't just run into the fountain, but he is going, <laughs> going for the next level jukes instead. Oh. <laughs> Looks like Pandas had stolen Hookshot there. Initiates in. On to Theory, actually, but he's going to go Clock down. Like, <laughs> Clock's like, can you do this? Make some cogs. <laughs> oh, no oh, way! God, what a save. Wow. <laughs> Dimitri, that's trust. That's, I trust, right <laughs> that's trust. Oh man, that was a play. And Dimitri actually gonna live. Can Corey get out himself? Another good ice path. The Arblet toggles. Corey going on 476 now. BKB is there. Ghost Scepter, it looks like on 476. Or what is that? Oh no, he just Shadow Bladed. So Corey goes down, just yeah. gonna buy back. Probably mounts another uh, five man push toward the mid or bot. <laughs> Just taking their advantage right now to the fullest. Um, that was a great play there by the Ice Path. But yeah, before that team fight even broke out, I was going to say 476. He's got lots of farm. He's got the BKB. But when he runs in with that Lothars, pops the BKB, and uses his ultimate, he's doing nothing to the Life Sealer at all. And Life Sealer can pretty much just wail on him. So 476 was just forced to run away. Didn't end up popping his ultimate until much later on in the fight when it wasn't really doing much. So, I mean, that's that's pretty much why you don't see a Shadow Fiend these days. Yeah. I mean, it is good in, in certain scenarios, and he did really well mid lane actually. Yeah, it's it's good for like split pushing, um, like snowballing. If you get a little bit of an advantage for your team, you can just kind of push it forward. But against a farmed makes, good luck. Good luck with that one. I don't, I don't know what else to say. 
the anti-mage hopefully can pick up some farm and make this game uh, a little bit interesting here. I mean, it's a great game, but uh, I think this is just going to be a slow roll here for Faded. They've got all the momentum. They've got pretty much all the wards on the map. They're going to be placing some more, I'm sure, as they come down into the bottom lane. And, uh, yeah, just going to push their advantage. We'll probably see a nice uh, clockwork initiation like we did on the top lane. Yeah, and speaking of the top lane, 476 way up there now. He's got two TPs, so it's not really a big deal. And Faded opting to push the bot lane, it is arguably easier to push, uh, more so than mid. And they know that the supports are going to have to, or as people are going to have to roll top as the Maker creeps push in. Although 476 kind of taking care of that problem right now as he's just split pushing that top lane. And here's the infest again in CYB boy. Pipe is popped. They're going to be breaking the high ground with this. Flame break used as well. Theory looking for a hook. Not having to take it really. Manta style finish now on Antimage. This fight is for all the glory for Pandemic here. The hook misses on Theory. Nice uh, initiate with that lasso onto CYBY. CYBY gonna go down. Gets all of his stuff off though just because of the BKB, but Fatch dropped. Doesn't have buyback because he went all in with buying that Manta. So that's two for two. Shadow Fiend here as well. Corey dropping the slow onto Pandas. Will Pandas be able to escape? It looks like no, he will not. Doesn't even need the Ice Path. And now Baltician literally almost got one shot. And where's Fat? Or not, sorry, he's not Fat. 476, he backed off towards the mid where he's still got a tower. Open wounds, rage. He's gonna get Baltician. Baltician gonna go down. And now back to the racks. So gonna be two lanes of racks here. I'm not toggling up, whoa. A wild shadow raise appears. Almost takes out Cory. Yeah, he's trying to regen a little bit of health here. He's gonna earn, so hopefully he's gonna have enough health to uh, take down this Rax. But looks like 476 coming in with Lothars. They have no vision right now, and they do have. King yeah, Kraken gonna melt the rocket from Pandas. Actually, Cory is picked up. Telekinesis. 476 is there, but he's gonna go down. And Cory did he even use open wounds? Yes, he did. The lasso into the fountain. Oh no! He's going down here. <laughs> Should have grabbed those tangos and the Rax while he was in there. Did not go down. No, it did not. Wow. But the tower is gone. Yeah, so he's the gonna next. be down for. S Sorry, he's gonna be down for 70 seconds. He does have a uh, buyback in a minute, so he's not gonna need to use that. They're gonna be fine, I think. Roche is two minutes away, so maybe they'll just wait for that next time. Yeah, more than likely. And we got a bit of a lull in the action, so maybe we can plug our stuff again. I suppose. Some lol? A lol? A lol. Lol? <laughs> I, know, I know, I know what you're trying to say. There's League of Legends characters on the map! Game. What's happening? <laughs> um, plug our stuff you say. Okay, uh, youtube.com backslash fmbpdota. That's our channel uh, where we post all our videos. Oh, they're gonna go on Sabi here though. Another four staff lasso. Let's see if they can get the- Oh, the light strike may miss. Well, that was Sabi really long. Laguna Blade. <laughs> But yeah, it's gonna miss. Saibi's gonna be actually alright. With Lasso down, maybe they'll go on Shibi here. Yeah, the Orchid's there! There's a Sonic Wave as well, but Shibi actually pretty tanky. He's got that Ghost up there as well. But now all three are really low. That Scream of Pain doing a lot of damage. Can he get another Scream off before he goes down? Uh, no, he cannot. He goes down. He's gonna be down for a minute as well, so... But the support's really low. Gonna have to heal. Roche spawning pretty soon. There's a rocket. Yeah, I think uh, I think Sabi just getting a little uh, aggressive there, going trying to go one versus four. But uh, it, it was I know it was a weird situation. Like he thought he could get it, and then he, he popped the BKB, so he's like, well, I might as well fight for a little bit now that lasso's down. But then uh, just kind of got a little awkward there and decided to blink in and go for it. But in the end, the stuns were there, so picked off. And yeah, like you said, he's gonna be down for a minute. Already 30 seconds left, so he's gonna be back right after this rush. Yeah, absolutely. Popping open wounds on Roche so that Nyx actually will lifesteal Roche. Or actually everyone will lifesteal Roche that's there. But Roche gonna go down again uncontested. I think a rocket came in. From Pandas. Oh no, he's got Shadow Strike right now, so... Roche is gonna go down at 37.21. Picked up that wow, Aegis. Cory has uh, a Satanic. Cory, really? Whoa. Dang. Yeah. I think he likes lifestealing, but I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. He needs a Vlad's, though. Oh, Sabi taking the hook. 
<laughs> yeah, a bit awkward there, but Politician gonna go down regardless. Chase continues. It's like the Orca damage is almost enough. Scream of Pain gonna go. Oh, he's stuck in the trees. Did you know you could get stuck in there? Sorry. I did not. <laughs> There's like a two two tree thing. It's like, how am I stuck in here? But... Dimitri still smoked. Uh, he's gonna come out now. Well, you gotta figure he's yeah, there. Yeah, spot racks is in danger. Yeah, <laughs> it's not really a secret. Dimitri, Jakira split pushing. Pandas comes in with the hook initiation, Whoa. and then there's the blink dagger lasso onto King Kraken. So the support's being initiated upon Saibi. He's getting pretty low, but looks like he's gonna be able to take out Pandas. Uh, no problem. Well, maybe not no problem. See why BY gonna go down. He's really low. So is King Kraken. Thatch is looking for someone to go on, but he's not gonna be able to find anybody. Now Corey just focusing on the rack. And that's a mid lane of racks, and Pandas with the hook shot again! I'm gonna take out the supports, but Corey is just doing work. He hasn't even popped Satanic yet, so he can pretty much do whatever he wants. And there's the Orchid. It's gonna go off. Oh no. Wow, that scream of pain did nothing to Antimade. Like 10 damage. Oh wow! Ran past the sentry. Nice cogs there. Not able to pick anyone off. Looking on the tier 4 now is Corey. Thatch is TPing over. He can pop that Satanic, and he's just gonna kill the Illusions because they can't blink. He hasn't popped Satanic yet. Or maybe he hasn't, I'm just not seeing the cooldown. Oh, he doesn't care because he's got Aegis. Nah, all right, I don't think so. Yeah, I forgot about the Aegis. Now he's gonna go back. That's on cooldown. Lasso goes through Rage, so should be gonna save 476's life. Now Fatch blinks in this is offensively. So and it's like just Corey it's against crazy. the world right now. It looks like he's gonna get both of the carries for Pandemic. Politician gonna go down again. What is Politician score? I'm curious. 1 in 15. Sad day for Lena fans everywhere. Corey taking a lot of damage. He did pop that Satanic. He actually goes down and instantly buys back. Looks like a lot of buybacks were just forced out there. Uh, just three. Batrider, Shadow Demon, and Lifesteal. In the mid, uh, tier 3 tower goes down in the favor of Faded, so... Oh, I'm surprised King Kraken didn't actually uh, use Purge on uh, 476 there. But I guess he could have BKB'd after it. No, I don't know if that would have worked, but... He's gonna get away from here. Uh, Lasso's up again, going on Saibi here. Who yeah, that cooldown's absurd. So Pulls him right into the supports, who maybe are gonna go down to this. Or where is Saibi? I've lost track. There's the Purge. How did Saibi even get over there? Panda has one health. He blinks in, takes out Pandas. Corey's back now too. He's run all the way down here. And he's gonna get that mid racks and this looks to be uh, the end of game two going the way of Faded. And we'll be bringing you game three yeah, shortly. Dimitri, and these will all be up tomorrow on our YouTube. At youtube.com slash fmvpdota. Facebook and Twitter are the same name. So you know when you're, we're casting, or you can just friend Callie and I and you'll be able to see when we're casting. And you can just watch in Dota TV. At least for SIVO. Yeah, we're going to be bringing you, I guess, pretty much most of the games, if not all of them. Yeah, probably all of them. And is, is this it for tonight, though, if after Game 3? Yeah, maybe? that's it for tonight. But thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and stop yeah. the recording, just because sometimes my recordings don't work if the title screen or the score screen comes up. But we'll see you in Game 3. But yes, Game 3 going to be great.